All right, so if you're an Android lover, that's me. If you like nice, strong, powerful CPUs, that's me. You're going to love what Graphene OS has got up their sleeve. So we got word yesterday, late last night, that Graphene OS is going to put out their very own phone. You heard me right, very own phone. So if you're not familiar with Graphene OS, Graphene OS is a version of Android that is basically a de-Googled operating system. So it's running on stock Android. However, it has very minimal and or little to no Google Play services running in the background. So it's not always communicating to Google. It's not always sending all of your personal data to Google like any other normal Android phone would. This is a de-Googled Android operating system. Now, recently, Google has put up the roadblocks, uh, not only to Graphene OS, but a lot of custom ROM developers, uh, basically not providing them the code to basically formulate the operating system. It'd be like if you're a chef, right? It'd be like, you want to make this cake, but you have to get your flour from Google. And what if Google just stopped providing the flour, stopped providing the main ingredient to your product? It's like, well, how do I make a cake now? Well, the only way to get that product from Google, that code from Google, is to make your own phone, right? Like Samsung, OnePlus, nothing. They get the base binary code and kernel sources from Google. Well, now that Graphene OS is going to put out their own phone, they get all the ingredients now. So we got word last night the potential partners, manufacturing partners, hardware partners, could be OnePlus, could be Xiaomi. Either way, that's a win for us, the end user. It is a big win. And I think this was the only move for them. They only, in the past, they only put their operating system, their custom operating system on Google Pixel devices. But since they put up that roadblock, stopped providing the main ingredient, which is the source code, they had no other option. So I think this is a fantastic option for Graphene OS. However, I don't know in the end, the end product, right? I don't know if it's going to be a de-Googled phone, meaning no Google Play services, or if they'll let you basically uh, just give you the bare minimum. I'm assuming that's what they're going to do. It would be nice to uh, basically have a choice, go completely de-Googled or have some play services on there, right? So you can use some apps that you're familiar with. But either way, this is a win. Look out for a phone coming in 2026. It's going to be running the new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Wow.